What's up guys? So today we're gonna to talk about the differences between this approach and also this approach here. And that's me, by the way. So we're gonna be talking about the differences between the indoor approach and the beach approach, focusing on the final two steps. So first let's discuss the indoor approach. So my second last step is gonna be long. For most people, it's about two and a half times hip width. This can vary. My foot's turned out, my arms lead the jump, and I'm off really quick. So if you watch me, I'm push up load, I'm up really, really fast. The other thing is if you are approaching from the left side at indoor, you notice you have a planting angle. My foot is planted on an angle. The reason for this is because it helps open up my hips. Now I can face in the court and bring rotation in. The other reason, when you plant on angles, it allows you to transition your fast approach to getting up more vertically versus traveling further forward. Now with the beach approach, the second last step is smaller. It's more like I'm trying to attack the ground. My feet trying to drive into the sand. The reason for that is got to overcome the resistance of the sand. So you want to drive into it. This is going to cause you to be on the ground a little bit longer. The other thing is your feet and beach are facing the direction of wherever you're approaching. You're no longer approaching on plant angles. 